Hello and welcome to a new edition of TechnoEsk's tutorial series. Today's tutorial will be on OpenOffice, a freeware application which seeks to replace Word and WordPerfect for all of your spreadsheet, database, presentation, and of course word processing needs. I've been going through the install so that way you can see how easy it is uh, to install OpenOffice. It's much the same as Word as well as any other software installations. I tend to click next and fill in required field. It is a lot smaller than Word uh, and the Office suite as you'll notice. Uh, here we'll have to go through the GNU license approval, showing that we've read it and clicking on accept. You'll notice that it, a lot of it is very, very familiar to most users in terms of setup and installation. I recommend doing a full install here, which is a complete install, versus the custom install, unless you specifically know that you will not need needing any kind of database or presentation software. OpenOffice will give you the option of selecting to use OpenOffice for all of your Microsoft documents or spreadsheets, and we'll go ahead and finish the install. For brevity's sake, I have shortened it considerably, but I will tell you that it really only took a total of approximately five minutes to do a complete install of the entire OpenOffice suite. As an aside, I would like to take note that today is the first tutorial here at TechnoEsk where I'm using the new Snowball Blue condenser microphone, which in my opinion sounds far superior to the microphone I was using previously. I would welcome any type of comment concerning whether or not this audio does sound better than previous recordings, and if so, I'll go back and re-record them using the new microphone for better quality tutorials for you all. Of course, I always welcome any suggestions concerning the quality quality of the recordings, perhaps download size of the recordings, as well as any type of tutorials which you would like to see present here at TechnoS. Looks like the installation is done, so we'll go ahead and open up OpenOffice Writer and customize it. You'll have to forgive not being able to see my start menu. I'm actually running parallels, so I'm on my Macintosh, so I'm running Windows within my Mac. Here you can see again, it's all the standard customization screens, just like you would see in any other program, as well as Office, typing in your name, initials, etc., so that way your templates and forms can be properly filled in and it knows exactly who the author of the documents are. As I've said previously, the installation for OpenOffice is rather small. Here you'll be given the option to either register OpenOffice or proceed without registering, which is not a requirement for OpenOffice to function. Here we have what's called the opening splash screen for OpenOffice, and then we're presented with actually looking at OpenOffice. Here I'm going to resize the window so that way you all can get a proper view of exactly what the screen looks like. You'll notice that it looks an awful lot like what you're used to seeing in Microsoft Word, no matter what version you're in, save for Vista. Here you've got the new button, you've got an open button, of course the save button's grayed out. You've got uh, sending an email. Here you've got exporting it directly to a PDF. All of the general buttons that you need in order to use files within OpenOffice look almost exactly like Word. Now in OpenOffice, everything is actually run from one program. So you can actually access text documents, spreadsheets, databases, presentations, all from OpenOffice without actually having to open up spreadsheet program, a presentation program, or a Word program. Here you can see what the default formatting, the font options, options that you have available to you. It all looks remarkably similar to Word and WordPerfect, which I'm sure most law offices have used at some point or another. Of course, OpenOffice does support both Word and WordPerfect formats. The only thing currently which it has a problem opening is Vista documents, which to tell you the truth, Office 97 and Office XP can't open them either without a plugin, and OpenOffice has just released a plugin for the availability to do this just recently. Here I'm custom Customizing my menu bar. I like to have my single and double spaced icons available to me at all times so that way when I'm doing citations within briefs I can easily go back and change it between double spaced and single spaced without having to go through the trouble of going up into my menu bar. As you can see here we've got the options for colored text, highlighted text, and we also have uh, further options to include many of the other icons which are available for your toolbar. 
You'll also notice that over to the left, we have all of the standard file options which are available, including properties, print, etc. If you go to the edit field as well as all of the other fields, you'll notice that all of the options are available to include pictures into your document as well as head notes, footers, page numbering, watermarks, etc. Spellcheck is also available within OpenOffice, works very well. The only thing that is not available, oddly enough, is Grammar Check, which personally I find to be a distraction and I always turn off within Word, so I personally don't really have any type of problem with it not being there. It can insert tables into documents. Every single option which is available under Word can be placed into OpenOffice. As it is a freeware application and the code is openly available, you will be able to find some developer who for free is offering a plugin to OpenOffice so that you can make it as customizable as you want. You'll notice that selection of text works exactly the same and here I'll give you a rough idea of exactly how text gets placed in. Fortunately, typing remains the same throughout the application. You'll find that actually writing in OpenOffice is exactly the same as writing in any other word processor. It's a pretty standard input as well as taking care of editing. All of your font and style uh, options are available. Of course, you can bold this way or you can use all of your standard shortcuts for Word and WordPerfect or you can just go ahead and click up here for bold, underline, and italic. Bullets uh, work a lot better than Word. I don't know whether or not other lawyers out there get frustrated by Word always trying to place numbering in the wrong position at the wrong time. I found that OpenOffice is much better at determining whether or not you want a bullet or a number in your document. Word is actually so inept at this that I actually turned the option off in Word. OpenOffice is a lot more intelligent in terms of when it should be on and when it should not be. Of course, you've got your bullets and numbering toolbar here, just like you have in Word. I know I've seemed a bit repetitive, but this truly is a very, very good option for Word for a law office, as well as any office. And of course, it's free, which of course makes it that much better. Now, I will say that one of the things that OpenOffice does not support are macros which if your law office is using macros, I highly recommend that you stop the practice immediately because these are notoriously the first entry into breaking through your security and becoming the entry point for most common Trojans and viruses. So the reason for OpenOffice's incompatibility with macros is less an issue of whether or not that option is available in OpenOffice, but more an issue of the security mindedness that most open freeware applications have at the forefront of their mind. Taking a look into OpenOffice's spreadsheet options, we can see that OpenOffice does pretty much everything that Microsoft Excel can do. There's very rarely some few problems with labeling of cells when you're opening up existing Excel spreadsheets. I've yet to run across those, but I have heard of other people having those types of problems when opening up Excel. But again, that is something that's very rare and definitely not something that is the common norm. As you can see, as I go through the menu options, they all look nearly identical to what Microsoft Excel has, all the way down to the window options, as well as all of these icon availabilities. In terms of interoperability with Microsoft Word documents and WordPerfect documents, you can see here I have a Word document which has retained all of its formatting. Next, we'll take a look at OpenOffice's presentation software, which we'll, of course, see. It's very similar to PowerPoint, has some templates, but there are other templates you can find online. You can also use PowerPoint's templates, much like the spreadsheet program and the word processing program, this will also open up existing PowerPoint presentations as well as for your Mac users, Keynote presentations. As you can see, it's got the same layout, the same design layout. It, it looks extraordinarily similar. I can't express that enough. Anyone that's coming from Word is going to find that the word processing is exactly the same, the same with spreadsheets, and here the same as the presentation software. So anyone that's pretty familiar with PowerPoint will have no problem whatsoever in getting adjusted to the presentations within OpenOffice. Now there are a couple of other caveats to OpenOffice. 
Some of the things that you can't do with this as freeware is you're not going to have any kind of online collaboration, so you're not going to be able to collaborate with other users. Quite frankly, I've yet to run across any other attorneys who actually use that function of Microsoft Office, but at least you know that it's out there before you use it. Uh, you won't be able to use smart tags, which quite honestly, I've never used. Some of the other things you're not going to be able to do, you're not going to be able to call someone with Open Office and talk to them about a problem you're having or something like that. But what is really good is that there are a lot of forums out there on the web and a lot of websites which can help you with any problems you're having. But quite honestly, when was the last time you ever called Microsoft for some technical support and actually were able to speak with someone from Microsoft about a particular problem you're having, such as Microsoft Office crashing? Now, that is another aspect of Open Office. It is much more stable than Microsoft Office. You can pick yourself up a copy at openoffice.org. Our next tutorial will be on Adobe Acrobat 8. This has been Finnis Price, and I thank you for listening to this tutorial from TechnoAsk. TechnoAsk. For lawyers, by lawyers.